Well, um, here we are. It uh, is a uh, community gardens area um, near the Charles River and Starrow Drive or whatever out there, if you can hear the traffic. But we have some bee, um, what do you call them? Bee houses. <laughs> and uh, I was here earlier, you know, about a month ago. I didn't see many bees around, honeybees, but they're starting to. In fact, can you see maybe honey starting to drip out of the sides? And there's bee activity. Whoop. Uh, yeah, quite a few. This one seems to be the busiest though. Don't know why. But, um, don't know if you can see the bees. couple of apple trees here. Well, it's nice nice to see the honeybees since I keep hearing about how threatened they are and how they're disappearing, but I've seen plenty this summer. Um, well, let's take a little walk around this area just to show you. Houses. Yeah, where I live, right uh, in this area, I have to really, you have to really find your spots. Um, don't have vast wilderness right near us, so you have to, uh, you know, find the little places, and this is one of them. And it's quite nice. You have to pick spots and dive right in, I guess. Oh, small patch. A couple of nice birch trees. One, two, oh. I got somebody's disapproval. Yeah, some bird was squawking at me there. Maybe I'm near a nest or something. I think I said I was next near next to the Charles River, but uh, now you know. It's actually a, a, for me, there's a small hint of fall in the air, which is uh, strange, or not strange, just a little far out before fall, but uh, we've got a real crisp Canadian air mass over us today. Eh, it's what I prefer. Um, but it's not gonna last. Tomorrow we'll be going back up into the heat or towards it. Um, okay.